Uh, my name is Svetlana Demchenko. All right, Svetlana. Hello. Thank you for sitting down with us. Um, uh, I think first things first, how's your tournament been? My tournament has been good. I have three and a half out of four right now, but the next games are going to be tough. Okay, okay. Um, and you just won your game. Uh, how was that game? Um, that game was, I, I was black, I was playing against WFM Morgan Mills, and it was a pretty long game, but I had a slightly better position and it was a long, it took a long time to, you know, keep pressing it and to, and I managed to win in the end, but it was, it was a tough game all along. Right. Uh, in terms of converting uh, long games, uh, you know, I mean, do, do you, I mean, how do you keep up your energy? How do you, how do you stay focused? That's actually one of my favorite things to do, is to play positions where I'm slightly better and just play them forever. Um, so in terms of keeping up my energy, I, I feel like I always have to do it because I am always like lower on time. So I don't really have time to, you know, be distracted. Um, but it's, yeah, it's one of my favorite type of positions to play when I'm slightly better or, you know, a, a bit of a better end game. So as in you just want to, you enjoy crushing your opponent slowly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I say that like it's, it's a surprising thing, but I think I like that too. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that is a lot of fun. Um, so in that same vein, is, could we infer that you would like positional chess uh, rather than, you know, very kind of tactical fireworks? Uh, yeah, I would say so, but uh, for me it really depends on the mood. Sometimes I can be a very tactical player, sometimes positional, but I think overall more positional. Okay, okay. Um, so when you, when you came into the tournament, what was your, what's your objective here? Or what was your objective? Honestly, um, well, from the start I am uh, the fifth seed, so um, it is going to be, you know, a tough, there's going to be at least like four and more opponents that are going to be tough to play. Um, but I think I just wanted to try to play my best because right now I'm really busy with university and it w there wasn't a, a lot of time to actually prepare for this tournament. Um, so I think I just wanted to play my best as long as I you know, don't make big blunders and just try to play well. That was the goal. Um, I think that's better than setting yourself up for like a certain place or like amount of points. So game by game? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's funny. I think... Well, everybody I've talked to so far has said the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I, so I, as I'm starting to infer that that is a big part of the, you know, the chess player's mentality or just yeah. any sportsman's mentality. Mm -hmm. Would you think that's fair to say? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, and you could uh, extend that perhaps move by move. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, if, if you are having, let's say, so you're playing a great tournament, right? Uh, three and a half out of four. It's uh, it's going very well. Um, uh, what, what what about when it's not going well? Like mm -hmm. how do you how do you deal with that uh, mentally? Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, it is it is hard to deal with. But um, usually, I don't think I've ever like withdrawn from a tournament ever, even if it's going super badly. Um, I always try to stick it out and just forget the previous game and focus on the next one. Uh, so that was pro would probably be something I would do. But I know that it is hard after you've lost a very disappointing game but it's all like it's all part of it it's like every chess player has moments where they have like a disappointing result but you just have to keep going and try to not make it an even worse tournament right right uh and then uh, perhaps in terms of like a, a bad move mm -hmm. because that of course you know you can always say that oh yeah. that game has no impact on this game yeah what about if you make a bad move um, yeah. Yeah, what do you do? Yeah, that one is also tough. Um, it's, yeah, it's like you said, we can extrapolate that to move by move, that you just try to focus on the next best one. Yeah. Okay, okay, fair enough. Uh, but let's say, so you, you were describing how you enjoy essentially, uh, you know, those long drawn, drawn out games. Mm -hmm. but if you're on the receiving end, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, that, that, of course, does not feel as good, but... Yeah, uh... yeah for sure. But I think on, in, that, um, in that case, you're probably more alert when you're on the edge of, like, losing. 
you're probably more alert at that point and you're hanging on to every chance you get. So for that, uh, it's probably easier to maintain like full focus. Right, okay, okay. And yeah, you're just looking for, you're just trying to create chances, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that is very interesting. Uh, in terms of your opening preparation, do you, do you put, a, put a lot of emphasis on that? Um, in my career, not really. I've tried playing a bit of everything. Um, so yeah, I really like playing different openings. I think I would find it boring to play the same thing all over again. Um, so I've tried a bit of everything in terms of openings. Um, there, so yeah, for me, it really, it really depends. It depends on my mood and on you know the tournament situation and all of that. But I, I like I like a lot of different openings. And uh, lastly, like, uh, what's your what's your sort of uh, overarching ambition? Let's say in the next two years, mm -hmm. uh, do you have something uh, in mind? Um, well, I know that chess is always going to be part of my life. I lately, for the last maybe four years, and for the next two years, I probably won't have as much time to play as competitively as I did as a teenager. Uh, but my overall like chess goal in in general is to is the WGM title. Uh, but I don't really think that's something that I'm like you know trying to do in the next year or two years. It's just more of a life goal. If I ever get it, that's good. If I don't, like I'm happy where things are. But um, since I'm not like pursuing chess as a career. That's why I can't play as many competitive tournaments anymore. But I think that at some point, that's the goal that I would want to achieve. Okay, that's very interesting. Well, thank you for sitting down with us. Uh, it was great having you. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Can I get you? So you're here to the camera.